up, juggalos and juggalettes, motherfuckers and motherfuckettes? I came across something. Wait a minute. I lied. I was brought something that's very magnificent and beautiful in many ways. And I'm going to set the notes right there because I always need my notes. Force 5 Records. Barely learning about them, and I'm like, what? Because of this one cat. This one cat, I listened to his uh, his album, Skinwalker. His name's Scribble, and he's fucking dope. Like, dope, dope. His album, Skinwalker's dope. He's so fucking cool, man. You need to jump on it, bro. Because I didn't know. I got to thank Colin, because Colin is like my fucking Yoda of music. He's like, yo, did you hear this? And I'm like, I didn't hear that. I was like, I don't know who that is. He goes, well, quit being a bitch and fucking listen. I'm like, you're being a motherfucking bitch. He's like, you're the bitch. And I was like, okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. I'm the bitch. I'll be the bitch in this relationship. Just keep on giving me more music. So he he, uh, introduced me to this cat. um, And I, uh, I listened to the album today. And Jesus motherfucking Christ, why is it mumbo rappers are making millions of fucking dollars and these guys are being slept on? It's fucking ten times better music than all the bullshit in the motherfucking mainstream and it's pissing me off. See how pissed off I am? That's how pissed off I fucking am. Because dudes like this are being slept on over some bullshit like some stupid mumbo fucking rapper or some dumbass motherfucking pedophile called Takashi. Six, nine, motherfucker! But as I was saying, I listened to this album Skinwalker. And, ah, bangers, bro. It's a banger of an album. Fuck, man. Um, it's, it's on Spotify. He's on Spotify right now. He's like, I think he's all over the place. But if, when I find out, all that will be underneath. You need to go to Force 5 Records because they got a roster too. Holy fuck, man. He starts off the album with Warlord X, just bringing it. Then the uh, the uh, Skinwalkers the next. All hell, great tracks, great tracks. But this is the track that really was like, woo, like I'm Rick Flair styling and profiling, baby. Uh, Glock talk back with uh, Jason the Sin God, and I'm like, God damn, you can send me, take my balls and just fucking whack him with a feather duster, motherfucker. That's how fresh that shit is. It, it, it fucking dope. Next song, Fatal. We'll get to that at the end. Um, knock your teeth. My boy Chucky Chuck. I'm like, Chucky! It's Chucky Chuck! And I interviewed Chucky Chuck last year. You can probably find that in the archive somewhere in our, uh, our podcast. The podcast. The podcast. So, uh, knock your teeth in and Chucky Chuck just coming straight in with the motherfucking force, man. Bam! Um, next song, Hang Am I, another one of my favorites, fucking St. Dog's beautiful, sexy voice. I would want that man to read me a bedtime story because I love his voice so much. I'd be like, St. Dog, read me Curious George, and he'll do it, and I'll be like, uh, the DPR is on that track too. This, that whole track is fucking banging. The next track got me geeking like a little schoolgirl. Um, all of a sudden, I was like, I just, I, I'm just, I'm bumping, you know, it's going along track by track, making sure I'm checked, but I take my notes. And I hear, oh, I was like, Bane! It's Bane! 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 And I was like, yes! Oh, yes, Skinwalker, Ripper, oh. Fucking fresh. And I was just like, yeah, and in the dark, and I hit home a little, man. It's a very personal song, you know, that that what I like about it, it's a personal song for one. It's got some feels, but it still bangs. It's still, goddamn, the, the, the producer on this album is fucking great, man. Loving every track. Uh, next uh, track I really, really like, uh, Blame It On Me. Um... Another fucking gem. You got motherfucking props from naming a song Bruce Campbell with Mars. Whoop, whoop. That was the shit. Check it out. Don't doubt me. 
Uh, and this, and and I always believe you need to start an album and finish an album fucking strong, bitch. And he did. Uh, ended with the uh, Fatal, the Apocalypse remix. I liked it a little bit more than the original one because this one, I don't know, the beat was just like it grabbed me, grabbed me by the nipples and fucking pulled me. And I was like, <laughs> just so fresh. So. Force 5 Records, man. Uh, this cat was heard on Shade 45. Uh, iTunes Top 100 chart. Th this record label should not be slept on, man. You want to know why? They got Saint Dog, Danny Diablo. You remember them? Fuck. They got Chucky Chuck. They got the Nomads. Oh, my God. The same poetry. Holy shit. There's just so much fucking freshness. And this homie is sponsored by SRH. You remember that shit? SRH. I'm just like, spats in the motherfucker. So... Check the comments below to his YouTube, to Force 5 Records, everything. I'm going to I'm gonna try to put as much as I can there because this should not be slept on. The world needs to know about Skrilla and his album Saint Walk. Saint Walker? <laughs> Dumbass. Ah, Skinwalker. They need to hear it. They need to understand it, brother. Oh, there I go again. Fuck.